What is going on, my hustlers? Here today to talk about everybody's favorite new stock, Givo. This is update, I wanna say number four. If you got in early on this back in December, I think it was when I made my first video, it's around a buck 50 and I was like, hey, you guys should really check out this stock, blah, 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 blah. Hopefully a lot of you did, although it was it's one of my least watched videos. I think it has like 50 views, so go back in history, go back to December, like the first week, give it some love anyway. Um, so I wanna give an update on where it's at. And even though I already took a large position back in December, um, and I have not bought any here in the last, I guess that'd be month, five weeks, six weeks, um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some now because of how exciting this news is. So let me tell you what this news is. As always, let me tell you my YouTube disclaimer. This is uh, for entertainment purposes, education. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just telling you what I'm doing and what I think would be a good idea to do. So here we go. So if you, um, I'm gonna guess if you already watched this video, you know what Givo does. They are finding a way to make specifically jet fuel cleaner. Uh, they, they run it, you know, to basically, you know, lower the carbon emissions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The big news that came out like a week ago, their CEO got a very high position in, in Biden's uh, cabinet, um, that he is the head of the science uh, department, which the, the big news, why this is big news today is that Wednesday, uh, President Biden is going to be talking a lot about his green energy plans. And so the thought is Givo here is going to shoot absolutely to the moon, G-E-V-O. And so um, between the CEO, between Biden talking big tomorrow, um, some other things that I found about this is that there are two other competitors in this whole space, that there are only three companies doing this right now. One is international, um, and they're very, very small. And the other one is... It is decent size, but it seems like Givo is really going out and getting the strategic partnerships. And so Boeing put out an announcement today that all basically said that they are partnering with Givo exclusively. Boeing said that, that they want to, by 2030, have all of their engines run very clean, very efficient. Um, I'm trying to remember what the, the word they exactly used, but they want to move toward that, which is basically exactly what Givo is offering. And so um, the reason these stocks have not, I mean, they've gone up, but they haven't blown up completely is the fact that we are still struggling to start traveling again. You know, we even had some travel bans uh, go out here in the last three days. Um, some restrictions that had been lifted now put back and so you know while we're not traveling as much as we were um, we're just not going to see the airlines the boeings uh, rolls royce all these companies take off just because that sector has not come back but jivo is taking off kind of just in hopes of when that sector takes off but when that sector actually takes off G it's just going to continue to push jivo higher and higher and higher the other thing I really, really like about Givo is that they are the industry leaders in technology, that they are the ones that are pushing the boundaries to, uh, to adapt and to go better. And I think ultimately that's what led Biden. And obviously, you know, I know that Biden probably did not pick uh, that CEO himself, but the Biden team chose that because they are the ones that are most innovative. They are the Elon Musk of their sector. And so if you're like me, maybe you got in on Givo a long time ago, or maybe you've been watching from the sidelines with the dip that happened on Tuesday, I think this is a great entry point. Um, you know, you're every time the, the way the stocks go and, and this is, you know, stocks that grow continually. So, you know, talking about Tesla, talking about Amazon, talking about Google, you know, you'll see uh, good day, good day, good day, good day, bad day, good day, good day, good day, bad day, good day, good day, good day, bad day. But you will see those good days start lining up, but we'll see a pullback. And that's when you want to buy. You want to find out what is that new floor? What is that, you know, what are we not going to go under? What is a good entry point to get into? And with this, even though we've, you know, I think we've, we've gone up 6x now, 7x, there is still a lot more room to run. This is just the beginning. This is not, and, and again, I don't want to bash on GameStop because it has really nothing to do with GameStop. It's just people playing games with each other. But this is not GameStop. This is not 
uh, AMC. This is not a play of, you know, let's save this company. Let's, let's see how high we can get this stock to go. This is a real company with real numbers, doing real things, making the world better, that has positioned themselves as an industry leader that everybody's just now starting to recognize. And with the current, uh, you know, American leadership, they want to push heavy in this direction. And so companies like this are just gonna absolutely explode over, I guess, the next few years at least, um, but I don't see us ever walking some of this stuff back. You know, I think if if a Republican does come back into office, you know, the Keystone Pipeline, you know, all that kind of stuff is going to happen. But I don't see us saying, you know, we don't want cleaner jet fuel anymore. That's that's something that we don't want to do. Let's let's go back and pollute the air some more. And so these pushes that these companies are making, like Boeing. It's just going to accelerate this industry. There's a lot of room to grow. And again, I I hate chasing stocks. You know that I talk about that all the time. But this is a stock that if you were to look at it today, if you were to look just today, you did not look at the last history for the last six, seven, eight weeks. If you were to look at this today, you would say this is a great entry point. Put everything else aside. Today is a great entry point. And so if you've been sitting on the sidelines, go ahead and jump in. The water is fine. If you're like me and you put in a good amount and you're kicking yourself saying, man, I, I wish I would have put in more, now is a great time. Again, I have not put any more in in the last five, six weeks just because I wanted to see what was going to happen. When I first called this back in uh, December, I think I called it, you know, my favorite stock under $2 and I, I thought it would be, you know, 5 or $6 in the next few months. I would have never guessed that it would have run this quickly. But now that it's run this quickly, as I look at the numbers, it's going to continue to run. It's going to continue to run quickly. So this is a, a go ahead buy for me. This is a 99.99% sure. I talk about, you know, being 90, 95% sure on most of the stocks that I get into. But this is 99%. Um, I'm actually going to go a little bit on margin in the time being just to buy more of this because I think it's that much of a sure thing. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, if you if you found any of this helpful, hit that like button. If, you, if you're brand new, again, I've been talking about Jiva for a while. I try to find stocks as soon as I can, put them out here. I would appreciate subscribe. A lot, a lot of people comment on stuff. Uh, let me know what, what I'm doing right. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. I always appreciate uh, interacting with you guys, hearing your success stories, hearing about you know different things that, that you're seeing in the market that maybe not I'm not. So go ahead and leave me a comment. Again, like button, subscribe button, share it if you find it uh, useful or if you think someone else would. Again, I got a bunch of information on Jiva, so check back in the channel. There's a lot more in-depth stuff. This is just kind of the update of where we're at now. So again, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.